Killer if you can retract. Damn it. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally fine. Do you need help putting on your mask? No, I most certainly do not. Dr. Reed, could you come here for a sec? Dr. Cass, yeah, what do you need? You shouldn't be in that surgery, Alex. It's just a hand cramp. No, there's radioactive fluoroscopy in there. You're pregnant, radiation, bad for babies. It's no more radiation than in an ultrasound. Don't do it. I'm new here, but I've heard stories, and you are remarkably unlucky. I wouldn't take any chances with your baby right now. Seriously? Doctor's orders. I'll take the surgery. LaRouche can assist me. Thanks. Go uh, do some paperwork or something. All right. Dr. Katz? Dr. Hamza called me. About? Your adventurous day. Well, I'm totally fine, and I like to stick with my patients, so... Yeah, so do I, and I have two patients, you and your baby. You stress yourself all day against my orders. I'd like to do a biometrical scan. Okay. Okay, so finish up. See you in 10. Okay, I can see the head. Yeah. It looks like a head. <laughs> a healthy head. You see the uh, little heart beating there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see it. Lungs, perfect. There's a tiny little liver. Kidneys, very cute. <laughs> Stomach. And the, uh, the intestines. All there in the right places, functioning nicely. Good, because I'm a couple weeks late for my 20 week scan, so. Well, all your blood work's been normal and better late than never. Look at that. Hello in there. <laughs> Just kind of floating around. Yeah, he's fine. What? Oi, yeah, it's a boy. Did you not want to know? I'm having a boy? Yes. I'm having a boy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Excuse me, Mama. You came. You came. Yes, your father asked me to read his speech for him. And how is he doing? Well, I was able to remove as much of the dead tissue as I could. Yeah, it's not the most glamorous of surgeries. Thank you for everything. You'd do the same. I told him he was potentially going to die, and then I walked out of the room, so no, that's not quite the same. Oh. I kind of feel like running away and hiding in a ditch someplace. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> we're gonna... Yeah, I guess we have to take our seats. My dad gave you an envelope. Yes, he did. It was money. Wasn't it? For the baby. Yeah. It's the Barrett Gorn solution to all problems. Well, I'm not gonna take it. No, I know that. I'm just disappointed. Like this. Okay. Speech time. Come on, you're terrified of public speaking. I'm well aware of that. I will do it. Joe, you're not gonna like it. I'll do it anyway. Let's go to our table. patient that uh, he's going to die that's tough yeah he's a teacher and his students worship him it hardly seems fair how long dead by 50 <sighs> yeah also i used maggie's name and got my father's medical records you used maggie's name and got, got my father's medical records Alex, I would have done that for you. I know. I just... I have always been afraid to look into it. But I found out that he had metastatic lung cancer, Charlie. Which means that it could have moved to his brain by the time he killed himself. It's possible, right? Well, I think if he'd been in his right mind, he never would have left you. Yeah. Well. 
okay? Yeah, the baby kicked. He's been doing that a lot lately. Yeah. Can I, um... Thank you.